Hi, I'm Angie and today we're making another filling for our chocolate bonbons and the filling is a banana foster. Have I ever made a banana foster before? No. Have I ever tried a banana foster before? No. Um, but I've seen it popping up like, you know, I've seen like chocolate bars that are flavored like a banana foster and I thought I'll just want to give it a try. Um, but this also means that I will not be able to tell you if what we're making today is close to the original dessert. And so just in case you've never heard about Banana Foster before, because it's not a thing in Germany, um, but I believe it is a quite a big thing here in America, but uh, yeah, let me know if you know it or not. Banana Foster is a dessert uh, consistent out of um, sliced bananas, a rum sauce, and um, I think it's served with vanilla ice cream usually. And another heads up, so all the recipes I found online, um, they all use rum. Um, for the liquor. I don't have rum at home, so I will just use whiskey. Um, but yeah, if you have rum at home, just use rum, I guess. If you don't want alcohol at all, just leave it out. And for this recipe today, I'm not using fresh bananas. I thought it might be too mushy. Um, and so I've been um, using banana chips. I blended them and just used basically um, the, the powder of the banana chips. And we're going to make two layers today. So we start out with um, the whiskey slash rum ganache and then uh, we make the banana caramel and I'd say yeah let's go here we go we're starting with the whiskey ganache so here I have 20 grams of sugar um, and one tablespoon of glucose syrup um, and I'm heating this up to about 45 50 degrees Celsius Now I'm going to add about 50 milliliters of whiskey. And I'm going to heat this up until um, the sugar has dissolved. And now here I have melted about 100 grams of dark chocolate. I'm going to add uh, the hot whiskey in a few steps and stir in between. And your whiskey ganache should look nice and smooth. And I do have one or two chocolate lumps in here that have um, not been melted. And that's why I'm using my immersion blender um, just to um, yeah, blend everything until it's nice and homogeneous. And now I let this cool down and we can make our banana caramel. I have um, two tablespoons of butter here, 50 grams of sugar, and about half of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a little bit of salt. And now I'm going to melt this. And here are my banana chips. So I blended them in my mixer, and I don't know how much I will need, but I will uh, let you know. As of now, I've added 50 grams of banana chips and 100 milliliters of cream. Now, let's see how this tastes. I think I'll leave it as that. This is delicious. So, this is our banana caramel. Um, if you want to use uh, fresh bananas, I would recommend starting out with um, a one banana um, and just add more to taste. Um, but yeah, now i let my fillings cool down and then we can pipe them in. Let's fill our shells. So I would say um, the banana caramel is a little bit thick. So I wish I would have maybe added 50 milliliters of uh, cream more. Um, but yeah, we, we're making it work. Now I pipe in the banana caramel first um, because this will not set. And so it's going to be harder to add the last uh, chocolate layer. So first the banana caramel and then we're adding the ganache. That's that. Now I'm going to temper my chocolate and then we will see how they turn out. So here we go. Okay, this is how they look like. Let's cut one open and try them. Don't mind the color. It's bananas, right? So bananas are pretty much never pretty. 
All right. I'm going to try this one. This is absolutely delicious. You want to make sure that your banana part is bigger than your whiskey part because um, the whiskey is really strong. So um, maybe only a small layer of the whiskey and more of the banana. But yeah, you should definitely give them a go. And yeah, if you have questions, you know what to do. Leave them down in the comments. Um, send me a DM on Instagram at chocolate feel. And have a good one. Bye.